It is your girl Sincerely Dre and I'm back today with another video. So as I see the time down below, you already know what's about to happen today. We are about to do another wig review. And not just any wig review, y'all. This wig is coming to us from the Butter Lace line from Sensational. And coming to us, y'all, this is not sponsored. Nobody's paying for this. I did have to pay for this with my hard work, college coins. But if y'all watch any of my other wig videos, y'all know that I personally have had the best experience with Butter Lace unit wigs. They're just, I don't know what about them as someone who is not a professional or experienced wig wearer or doing stuff with wigs. Butter Lace Unit wigs have been very beginner friendly for me and I haven't had many issues with like the lace and like that. So I'm very interested in trying this next one out and hopefully it lives up to what the other ones have been giving us so far. So let's stop all the rambling. This is the wig that we have today. Let's turn the Butter Lace line from Sensational. Today we have Miss Butter Lace Wig Unit 16. If you know about Butter Lace, they don't really have like names because there's so many of them, so they just like number it. So this is Unit 16, and I have it in the color Flamboyage Chocolate. Hey okay, y'all, so this is what she's looking at, looking like straight out the pack. I can tell already, although there's like, it's long, it's very lightweight, which we have seen before with other Butter Lace units that they're just really lightweight which I personally like um, because like of course if you want to wear it in like the summer or something like that it's not too much on you but it still looks very full like it doesn't look not full like I can't see any tracks or anything like that but here's what she is giving let's get into the lace the butter lace line according to the stock card it's supposed to have virtually undetectable HD lace, wider parting, and it's supposed to have ear-to-ear -ear lace. Um, and they also claim to be free plug, and it comes with one part, or at least this one only has one part. It's not like all movable, but this is what she looks like. And then here are some of the other colors that it can get as well, if you are interested in getting it. But let me show y'all. This looks really good. Okay, okay, okay. Let me show you. But this is what the lace is giving. She is a little light skin for me, but of course we already know um, our more melanated queens, we usually have to go out and tint our lace anyway. So I'll be doing that. That's what the looks like from the front. Here's the back. Here's the parting space that you have. A pretty deep middle part. And then the wig cap construction on the inside. I don't know if y'all can see it. But you have the usual one comb in the back. You have two combs on the sides. And then you also have these adjustable straps. Okay, so I think we're just gonna go ahead and plop her on and just see what she's looking like. Okay. I can say she feels big head friendly. I would like to consider myself someone who doesn't have the smallest head on the planet. Um, but she doesn't feel tight, but she also doesn't feel like super loose or anything like that. So I feel like if you are someone with a smaller head, you probably can still use this and wear this, but probably like use the adjustable straps or something like that. This looks really good. What I can say so far is the parting and the plucking, phenomenal. It's giving very much natural. Like it's not, it's not like, you know, some synthetic wigs, it's, the parting just don't be given what it needs to have given. But I like this so far. What I can say is that it definitely will need to be tinted for sure because 
I'm giving a whole different type of skin color right now. But we're going to go in and tint. I like to tint the lace first and then cut it. And then we can go back and tint again. But just to show y'all what it's looking like on me. This one like so far not, not too shabby. But yeah. So a lot of people like to tint their lace lots of different ways. If you've seen videos from me, I like to keep it simple. And I learned about this recently, well not recently, but after my first week video that I did. But this is just the even tinted lace spray. I have it in the medium brown. And this is just what I like to use. And I just pick it up from my local beauty master beauty supply store. And y'all do know they have these in um Walmart and I think Target now too. So it's really readily accessible. But I'm just gonna go ahead and just spray it. I'm not gonna do too too much right now just because you know you can't take things off, but you can always add so. And usually I would blow dry this, but unfortunately I forgot my blow dryer at school. So we're just gonna have to let it do what it do. Put it back on. And there really is no like technique that I use when spraying this. I just hold it back and spray like you're spray painting something. Okay, yes, yes, yes. The lace is definitely blending now for sure even though this light is not doing it justice I promise y'all but we'll we'll adjust if we need to later on so now I want to go in and start cutting this lace off What I like to do when cutting my lace is I like to do like the little three section thing. I don't know if y'all have ever seen anybody else do that. Basically, I try to cut at where kind of like where my eyebrows are, the end of my eyebrows, and then I'll cut the middle section and then I'll do the side. But no, actually, I lied to y'all. I do the sides and in the middle. So basically, I go in, I went with scissors and I cut the two sides off and then I go in with the eyebrow razor just because I feel like it gives a little bit more of the natural look to it. And then I just cut off the two sides. For the ear tab, because it's in the back and it's probably not going to be seen, I'm just going to cut that lace off. I didn't even think about it. So when one side is done, let's get on to this side. So I'm going to do the same thing for this side where I just cut off the air tab just a little bit. And then now I'll go in and cut it off. Go in. Don't look good. I'm not going to look good. 
So now that I have the lace cut off, you can see that I probably, like I still have a good a bit of lace. What I like to do is cut less than you think you need to cut the first time and then I'll go in and like make it small. So that's what I'm about to do right now because it's just a little bit too much lace right here in the front. So I'm just cut a little bit more. The only reason why I'm going with the scissors right now is because since the lace is shorter, trying to cut it with the eyebrow razor, it just sounds a little risky. It just sounds like I could cut my finger and I'm really not trying to have to cut any of my skin today. <laughs> it's not okay. But we have the lace cut all and this ma'am is looking good. So this is what the lace is looking like. I think I'm gonna go back in and tint the lace just a wee bit more. And I'm actually gonna do it on the top. Um, so I'm just gonna spray. But when doing this, since I'm doing it on the top and since the, my roots are darker than this spray, I'm gonna spray a little bit further out and then just try to dab it out. We're looking better now. Um, I'm going to heat up this wand curler because it's just a slight bump up at the top, which is also just because my braids are a little bit old. But I want to get this as flat as possible so it can look as natural. But while we're waiting for that to heat up, we do need some baby hair because there was a little bit, but not really. I like to do like the two center framing sort of pieces of baby hair just because I'm not a baby hair enthusiast even with my own natural hair. I'm like I've never been into the baby hair. So I just like to keep it simple sweetie and not do the most. I really need like one of those hair cutters. Sometimes it's eyebrow razor. Do not be doing what it needs to do. And then to do my edges, I do not have the foam that I would sometimes I usually do with Apple. Using, so I also left that at school, like I did with the blow dryer. But um, I'm gonna be going in with the even New York Extreme Firm Hold 48 Hour Edge Tamer, it's a purple one. And I usually just get this from my local Beauty Master. So I'm gonna just go in. Try not to get too too much, cause when you start putting a whole lot on these synthetic units they start acting a little funky and to hold that in place. I'm going with a little bit of liquid mousse super hold spritz hairspray and same deal. Just got it from the local beauty master. I'm going to comb through the hair so we can actually see these curls for real for real and I'm just going with a 
just like you know a normal paddle wig brush starting from the bottom and then going to the top what I can say going through this right now I'm not getting any tangles which I really shouldn't because it's just coming out of the box but there are no tangles so far um, As I'm running my hands through it, I am getting a little bit of shedding, but literally it's just like one piece of hair. And to be fair, I did cut the hair as well, so it could be coming from that. It's just a, like it's just single pieces. So there is a little bit of shedding, but oops, I just got a couple more pieces of that one. Like I said, we did cut some of the hair, so I don't know. I don't know if it's because of that, but it is shedding just a little bit so i'll be aware of that but like you got a synthetic wig you should like come on now if you don't want it to shed you got to spend just a little bit more money <laughs> i'm so sorry but that's just what you gotta do so i'm gonna try to tuck this edge under y'all i'm trying to be fancy with these edges now Okay, and now that this our wand curler is a little warm, I'm gonna just go on the top. And I will say that this wig is heat safe up to 30, 350 degrees and 400 degrees Fahrenheit, but I wouldn't go too, too high with it um, because it is synthetic. I'm just going on top for like I said before just to get it a little bit flat there. I wish I knew how to like you know how people do like the little curl wands to where it's like a little puffy, like not puffy, but like, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to explain it. But let me just come up close to y'all see what I did with the edges. Not too, too much because like I said, I don't really know how to do edges, but I just did like two swoops in the front and I brought the hair up to just cover it a little bit as well in the front because if not, it would have looked like super weird. Um, and then, yeah, that's about it. That's about it, getting to it. See, this is what I'm trying to say. This is why I like butter lace units because all butter lace units that I've had, it's really just like, cut the lace, tint your lace, comb it, you're done. Bada bing, bada boom, you're out the way. But with some of the other brands that I've tried so far, like, I haven't tried many because we all know I'm, just getting to a year I think trying wig so no yeah I think it is officially one year today I think of trying wigs so I'm still very very new to it but I will say of the other wig brands and other wig lines that I've tried so far I haven't had much success with it as a beginner and it's required a lot of extra work that I'm just not prepared for right now. But Butter Lace, she don't ever do you wrong. So let's get into the hair. Because I haven't really talked about it just yet. I've just been working on the lace. Um, the color definitely has to grow on me. Y'all know I'm someone who like, I'm very basic with my 1B. I always get 1B in any hair that I do, braids, anything like that. So it's definitely going to have to grow on me. Just like how, I forgot the number, but it was another Butter Lace that I tried last year. No, let's say earlier this year. And it was like the curls. And I was just like... It has to grow on me just a little bit. And when I tried the Money Piece Hazel as well, that straighter one from Butter Lace, it had to grow on me as well. So I think this color will have to grow on me. But it is cute. It's giving, it's giving grown women. It's giving boss vibes, which I do like because now I'm growing up. I'm getting a little bit older. I'm going to graduate college soon, which is going to be a whole nother experience. I do have to start maturing in my the way that I present myself, you know? So I definitely 
do like the color. It's giving me very much like false lady, like some girl you'll see on the Lifetime movie in like the little business attire and has her own office with the ceiling to floor windows. Okay, I'm doing most. I'm doing most right now, but I really do like it. Let me show y'all the back. This is what the back is looking like. Stand up. So y'all see it, it comes to right where my butt, kind of like, kind of where it starts a little bit, even though it kind of starts up there, but it kind of comes to, I guess, sort of kind of the middle top of my butt. So this is a long unit for sure. But it, like I said, it is long and it does have like a lot of hair, but it's lightweight. I know how to explain it. It's full, but it's lightweight. Like I didn't see any tracks like that running my hair through it. I can't feel any tracks. So it's very lightweight. So something you can wear in the summer if you would like to. And I don't feel like it should be too, too hot unless you're in like Florida or something. But I do like it. The curls are very subtle. So it's like, no. I didn't come very curly, curly, but no, I didn't want to be basic and not basic because I love me and my straight hair, but I didn't want to be very just like straight. It gives, it gives, it kind of gives like I had curls and they fall a little bit or just very small. Oh my gosh, y'all. Let's turn this off. <laughs> the long curl just fell, but um. It's kind of giving like, oh, I curled my hair and it kind of fell a little bit, which is kind of cute. If that's the vibe that you're going for, it's cute. It's not cute when you actually want to stay. But I do like it. So, I like this, y'all. It will have to grow on me, like I said, but I'm, I'm sitting over here talking to myself. It will have to grow on me for sure because of the color in the lens i'm not used to it but that's why i'm getting to this so i step outside my comfort zone and just see what looks good or it's just try new things so i definitely do like this i would recommend this to anybody who is looking to get started in with wigs and all that because it doesn't require a lot like i showed y'all this didn't take me that long last week that i did took me like over an hour to figure out because literally i was so confused so this wig was pretty quick pretty easy just bada boom bada bang cut the lace tint do your edges you don't even really have to do the edges but i just did it because i have learned with wearing wigs because i don't like to glue my wigs down which i tried to do before and it's just too much for me i've learned that the way to sometimes get the lace to lay down a little bit without having to glue down is by doing your edges because if you do the edges in the front that's going to keep the hair down or it's going to keep the lace down in the front so you won't have to glue anything and because this is the middle part i don't have to do anything on the sides because you're not going to see the sides anyway but once again this is the butter lace unit 16 wig in the color flamboyage chocolate it has a deep middle part it's pre-plugged all we did was a little bit of the baby hairs in the front but honestly i'm pretty sure if you are a baby hair queen or king, I'm pretty sure it would look way much better than what I got going on because me and baby hairs and edges just don't get along for some reason. But if there are any other wigs that y'all want me to try, let me know down below in the comment section because like I told y'all before, I'm trying to try new things. So if y'all have any wigs that y'all have loved and y'all want me to try, let me know or any wigs that you are looking to try and haven't tried just yet, let me know and I'll see if I can do that for you. And make sure you follow me on Instagram at IamSarahTheDrew because of course I post way more often on there and you'll to see more updates on this hair and how long I wear it. And make sure you subscribe to the notification bell down below right now so you know when the next wig video comes out and so you can see more videos from me. And remember that I love you all so, so, so much. And my name is Sincerely Drew and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!